How did you get? How did the Navy decide to use you as a radio operator? When, when you go to enlist, as I did, uh, they give you a series of tests, and they run a, a bunch of RYs and a series of, and uh, they play a little code, and they do that, and they'd ask you some questions, just two or three little questions, and they did things like that on a number of different um, positions on a board ship, and uh, well within the Navy entirely, and uh, they found out that I. Did a qualification on there. I had some, showed somewhat of a, a propensity to be able to, able to use it, and uh, it was just part of the record. And uh, I, I never used it. First whole year in Navy, I was a quartermaster, you know, steer the ship and things of that nature. And I just didn't like that, and I put in for a transfer, and they sent me to radio school in Norfolk. And uh, uh, four, three, four months, twelve weeks, I believe it was, and. Uh, in order to graduate, you had to be able to type, and I couldn't type. I never <laughs> typed a thing in my life. I had to learn to type, and I had to learn Morse code and all the signals and everything that was required to use. And you had about three months, and uh, you didn't have any spare time. You worked hard. And it was just something that struck me as being a lot of fun and enjoyable, and I had a ball. I, I never felt pushed. I enjoyed every minute of the class, and to this day I still enjoy every minute of whatever I do in amateur radio. Well, 